Hey you guys, good morning. I know y'all like Hannah, girl. How you gonna do us like that? I know y'all, I've been gone for a minute, okay? A long minute, okay? And I'm sorry y'all, I just had, I really just had a creative block. Like it was just, and I told y'all this a few vlogs ago, like when it hits me, it hits me and I just can't produce content. Like I had a whole video film for y'all and I just was not feeling it at all. I was like, I cannot put this out there because once you put it out there, it can't be unseen. And I just, I don't like producing like part of my French, like half A content. You know what I mean? Like I wanna give y'all good quality stuff. So I'd rather like take a step away and regroup and come back and give y'all the content that y'all are used to than to, just, than to just put something out there that's trash just for the sake of putting up a video so i'm sorry y'all forgive me forgive me <laughs> but we are back with the vlogs i'm getting ready for work i'm about to head out in a minute yes y'all i had to slap a halfway back on because i don't know if it's just because i haven't done my hair in a long time but once my um my press out kind of weared off i was like bruh my hair is not cooperating. I don't know what to do with this. So I just put it halfway back on. This one is cute. It has a little streak of red. I wasn't going for that, but that's the only color they had that would match my hair. Um, so I got this one. It's okay. It's all right. It's this color in particular is very tangly. So I feel like that's why I'm not feeling it as much as I would like to, but it's cute. So yeah, y'all. I'm about to head out for work. Y'all saw the new intro and outro. I had to put something together for y'all. And I like the new intro, outro, new music and stuff like that. I feel like that also helps me to keep my creativity going when I change things up a bit. So I hope that you guys like it. But a lot of y'all were asking me about my nails. Here are the set of nails that I put on. I put these on a while ago, maybe... Mm, maybe a week ago or so and where's the glue at this is the glue that i have ooh, that i have been using lately because some of y'all were asking me so this is the glue that i've been using but the trick is that you have to file your nails so that it can be a little rough before you apply the glue that is what helps it to last two plus weeks spray on some perfume y'all i am down to my last bit of this perfume like this is my last spray <laughs> it is empty it is empty i want to get this perfume by chanel i forget the name of it but it smells really really good but i'm not a luxury perfume person so i might splurge and get that one but normally i'm wearing like low-end perfumes like this uh calvin klein escape this is my favorite low-end perfume i wear this all the time obviously because i feel like you know i don't want to splurge on perfumes when i'm just going to work nine times out of ten so um yeah i definitely need to re-up on my low-end perfume collection let me know down below some good perfumes that y'all like to wear that are like under i would say like under 60 dollars um something i can just spray on for work and be good but yeah i need to re-up on this one and then i also like the um mark jacobs daisy i've seen that at marshall's and that smells really good too so yeah you guys this is what i'm wearing today just a little casual two-piece set and I'll probably put on my sneakers or my vans very casual workday outfit lunch break y'all i'm here at chick-fil-a this line is ridiculous like it's backed up around the building on the street y'all it's ridiculous what you what you trying to do 
I was about to say. But yeah, y'all, I had to get up out of there because it was too much going on. Customers were starting to act up on the phone. I don't have time, okay? I don't have time. There's this one guy last year that wanted to dispute a charge. And so we accidentally charged his car. So we said, okay, we'll reimburse you via check. So we sent him the check and then he also disputed the charge on his car. So basically he got $75 for nothing so we cancel him as a customer so he called in today talking about i need service asap and i was like well we're not going to service you because of the disputed charges and so forth and he's like that never happened i don't know what you're talking about i don't need to talk to you about it i need to talk to a manager so i was like okay like i'll put you on the phone with the manager no problem and he's like yes because i don't need to explain myself to you but i will explain myself to a manager and i was like look Oh, you can talk to the manager <laughs> so i was like look i don't got time for these calls i was like let me get up out of here and then the carpet cleaner man is coming to clean the carpets at the office so i said this is the perfect time for me to exit left because y'all not finna raise my blood pressure today but yeah i'm about to get something from chick-fil-a for lunch i'm thinking that i want to get a nugget meal with some mac and cheese get me some chicky filet chicky filet but yeah y'all today has been a good day so far um this guy came in let me show y'all this guy came in hold on let me first of all let me get myself prepared because i don't need nobody hunking at me because i don't have my debit card ready to pay hold on y'all hold the phone hold the phone but yeah, there was this guy that came in, this black guy, and he was he was kind of cute. He was kind of cute or whatever. He was probably like early 20s, and he had this really, I like dreads anyway on a guy, but he had these really pretty dreads, and he had them twisted up real nice. And so, because um, I heard him talking to Karen, and so Karen was like, well, let me get Hannah and see if she's interested in buying what you're selling. And so I walked up, and I was like, oh like my brother and you know when like you don't think there's any black people around and when you see another black person you like hey hey fam what's up it was kind of like that so i was like let me go ahead and support his hustle like i didn't need anything that he was uh selling but i was like let me support his hustle so he gave me this really nice really professional i don't know if y'all can see hold on y'all hey how are you yes hannah can I have the eight count nugget meal with name? the lemonade and Polynesian and Chick Fil A sauce? Anything else for you? That'll be it. All right, eight count nugget meal with the lemonade is going to be seven sixty six. Okay. There you go. Okay, okay thank you. Okay. But yeah, y'all. So he gave me this really professional. Let me pull up a little bit this really professional looking bag with some goodies in it i don't know if y'all can see and so i guess it's like cbd infused bath bombs and products so it's like a little soap bath bomb i think this is mascara stuff i probably won't use don't need but i was like makeup wipes but I was like, look, I don't care if I need it or not. Like, I'm going to support your hustle because I know times are hard. If I see a black brother or sister selling something and I have the money to support, I'm going to support. But yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and get my food and I'll check in with y'all later. was good it's nasty out here it is freezing and raining and ugly but i am on my way to michael's because i want to pick up some more stickers and see what else they have and then i want to go to the liquor store to give me a little sip of sip for tonight's dinner i don't know if i told y'all but i'm making like this really nice sausage and spinach cheesy pasta dish and i want a nice wine to go with it so we'll see what they have i want to try out the stella blueberry but i'm not sure if this towers liquor store has like a good variety of stella so we'll see but yeah you guys my head is hurting a little bit because all the chemicals from the carpet were bothering me so i'm sorry
so glad to be off. They let me go a little bit early today, so that was nice. So yeah, let me go get some sippy sips, see what I can find. I've been, um, oh, you gonna have to wait. <laughs> Like, I hate that when people are like speeding down the road like you gonna have to wait today but I was doing some um, shopping on my lunch break when I got back and y'all I realized that it took me until just now at 27 for me to figure out what my style is and I finally put my finger on it and figured out I ain't gonna hit you my brother yeah I finally my finger on it and figured out this camera keeps turning figured out what my personal style is and my style is edgy grunge like that's what I naturally gravitate towards and I finally just figured that out recently so I did a little bit of shopping um, on boohoo so I can't wait for that order to come in because I got some really cute pieces and now that I'm gonna be back on the Instagram I'm gonna take some really cute pictures for y'all. So yeah, definitely follow me on Instagram because your girl's gonna be back on there. My hiatus is over, so definitely stay tuned for that content. But yeah, y'all, let me go ahead and go to the store and I'll talk to y'all later. in the house yeah I had to get up out of that Michael's parking lot there was this little pedophile van next to me it's like not today Satan not today but I got some more stickers for my sinking funds binders I need to film a video I want to do it tonight but I'll probably do it tomorrow so definitely if you haven't followed my second channel follow it okay stylo budgets but y'all I also found this super cute journal oh my goodness so cute and Charlie <laughs> I had to pick this up and I want to start journaling so I'm going to journal in this tonight I feel like journaling will be good for me and um, I'm trying to do more hobbies outside of YouTube that will benefit me like I want to journal when it gets warmer I want to start gardening um, grow a little herb garden on my porch I want to start hiking and playing tennis and just being more active and doing things that will spark my creativity and get me going so I'm really happy that I picked this up so I can start doing that I feel like journaling especially for someone like me will help me to just release my thoughts and help me to just recount what happened for the day and I can write down things that I was grateful for for that day so yeah I'm super excited to use that and then I went to the liquor store and they didn't have the blueberry flavor in the Stella but they did have this pine I think it's pineapple yeah pineapple flavor so we gonna take a little sip of this tonight and then they also had the jam jar which says it's a a sweet Shiraz I think that's how you pronounce it so we're gonna try this out it was only seven dollars so I'm excited to try that out and see how it tastes so I'm gonna go ahead and go inside take my clothes off and get started on dinner I'm about to wash my face and get in the bed but I did want to give y'all just a little, 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 little sneak peek of how the bathroom is coming along. Um, if y'all pay attention to my vlogs, especially when I'm like cooking in the kitchen, y'all know I have those like ugly gray countertops. So one of the renovations I've been doing in the bathroom is replacing those countertops with this really pretty granite-esque peeling stick. So I'm gonna show y'all a little sneak peek 
of how the bathroom sink is coming along. So here's what it's looking like so far, you guys. I painted and put a wood colored peeling stick on the inside. Y'all, I'm so happy with how it has turned out. I still have to put the final touches on the sink and caulk around the sink and stuff like that. But yeah, it looks really good. Almost like a totally new countertop. So yeah, you guys, that is the sneak peek. That's all y'all getting. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show y'all my little regimen and a couple new products that I have been using. Y'all, I am exhausted. I'm just using my old faithful Neutrogena makeup wipes. These are the only ones I use, unless I pick some up from like Marshalls. But I love these things. I really don't like wearing makeup at all. I honestly feel like I look, I feel like I look good with makeup on, but my skin is just so oily like, by the end of the day, I'm like, why do I even put makeup on? Okay, I'm gonna wash my face with Old Faithful. And then I'm gonna try out this new product it's called Burt's Bees Facial Oil. It's like a serum. So I'm gonna wash my face, put on this little toner. I really like this stuff, you guys. It's from the brand Pearl Essence. And it's a lavender and chamomile facial tonic. And I really like it because it hydrates my skin. So I'm gonna wash my face, spray this on, and then try out this facial oil. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. You'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? The smell on this is weird. <laughs> it smells like. It smells like an egg. It feels really good, though. And she's moisturized. <laughs> hey, you guys. Good morning. I wanted to show you guys a quick outfit of the day. I'm not wearing anything too crazy, but I just wanted to show y'all what I have on because today is Friday, honey. Okay. I got these new glasses. I'll probably tell y'all more about these in the next video. I love them. Super cute. Love them. And then I have on this t-shirt that says, on Fridays, we wear a leopard print, honey. And then my black trousers. And I have on my leopard print mules. So that is today's outfit. And I'll probably pair my black leather jacket, pleather jacket <laughs> with this because it is a little chilly today. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head out, go to work. I'm going to stop and get breakfast because I didn't fix breakfast this morning. I'll probably stop at Bojangles or Chick-fil-A, get something good for breakfast and we in there hey y'all i ended up going to mcdonald's i was craving a hash brown so bad i had to get me some mickey d's i got me a uh mcmuffin meal and a caramel frappe these are really good if you guys haven't tried it come on now so i can make this turn but yeah, y'all, I feel good this morning. Um, last night, I stayed up watching the new Justice League movie, y'all. I was so hyped to see that. And it was really, really, really good. So if you guys have HBO Max, I would highly recommend going to check it out because it was really good. At first, I was like, what is this? But it ended up being um, a really good movie. Oh, it was so good. I love a good movie, honey. 
so yeah i stayed up yesterday watching that because i was only going to watch like two hours of it because it's a four hour movie but i just i couldn't resist not finishing it <laughs> so i watched that and then um what else happened yesterday um that's it i know the last few clips i was talking about making dinner i didn't end up making dinner because it was one of those weird it looked good on pinterest but i feel like the cottage cheese was throwing me off with the pasta with the pasta i feel like if it was a ricotta cheese pasta mix i would have made it but i didn't want to waste food using that cottage cheese because i've never used cottage cheese in a pasta recipe and y'all know these pinterest recipes be a hit or miss so i wasn't willing to risk <laughs> wasting food for pinterest so i'm gonna um look and see what they have on there and go to the grocery store doing work and pick up a few things to make a new dish tonight for dinner and then i didn't tell y'all that i had to cancel my california trip you guys and this is like the third time i've had to do that and it was from no fault of mine i bought my plane ticket a while ago and of course when i bought my plane ticket it was like 200 dollars for my ticket so i was like cool y'all tell me why the girl at the clinic messed up my appointment so i had to reschedule everything so when i went to go back and book my plane ticket the plane tickets were like twelve hundred dollars from a flight from myrtle beach to la and i'm like i'm not paying twelve hundred dollars even with my credit from my two hundred dollar flight that's still a thousand dollars for a plane ticket like are you kidding me and granted they did waive the fee that i had to pay but i'm like i'm still not paying a thousand dollars for a plane ticket like that's like an international ticket you know what i mean so i just said forget it like i'm just gonna reschedule for some time later this year and just go when i go so that was a little disappointing but um i'm glad that i'll still be able to take a little vacation with my family so um that'll be nice so yeah you guys i was a little disappointed because i was looking forward to because i had booked this really cute hotel that's really cute and modern updated had a balcony it was a king executive suite honey so i was looking forward to just having some me time and relaxing but it is what it is and i was telling my co-worker about it and she was like hannah like i know you're disappointed but you never know what god was protecting you from especially with you getting on a flight so i said you know what you are totally right like you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna force anything because you never know what like she said god is protecting me from and what could have happened even not just on the flight but what could have happened while i was there by myself so i said i'm washing my hands of it is what it is but yeah you guys let me go ahead and go to work and i'll catch up with y'all later to go to uh, the grocery store to pick up a few things for dinner tonight but yeah my plans for the weekend is to do some deep cleaning I have a um, carpet shampooer so I want to go ahead and clean my carpets organize my closets get everything nice and clean and organized and then I also want to put some items on my Poshmark account so I will nine times out of ten do that so if I do I'll post that on my Instagram so that y'all know when it goes live and my plan is just to put everything on there for five dollars or less get it sold get it out of my closet and be done with it and I'm gonna close my Poshmark account because I'm not active enough on there and I don't do try on hauls like I used to so I don't have a lot of items um, to put on there consistently like I used to in the past so definitely follow me on Instagram so y'all can stay updated with that. But yeah, I'm excited for this weekend because I feel like it's going to be very productive. I'm going to get a lot done. And then tomorrow I do want to go to this park that I like to go to. They have a really nice hiking trail. So I'm going to probably take Charlie up there tomorrow 
and Sunday is the brunch. So I'm super excited about that. So I'll probably most likely do a weekend vlog for y'all. So stay tuned. y'all i'm back home i took charlie to the park and then i started cleaning up because my sister and brother-in-law is coming over for dinner and he's gonna hang up my shelf that's going in the bathroom so i'm super excited because the bathroom is coming along slowly but surely so um yeah i'm just in the middle of fixing dinner i just wanted to clean up really good make the apartment presentable for guests okay even though they family i like my house to look a certain type of way when people are coming over so yeah i found a new recipe on Pinterest that look better, that look like it would actually be good. It's like a sausage spinach tomato pasta dish. And I'm gonna fix that with some um, Texas toast. I'm not gonna eat any Texas toast, but I'm just gonna cook it just in case they want some to go along with the pasta. So let me show y'all how I make that. And then we're gonna set the table. I'm sitting here watching Matrix. I finally got HBO Max. So I'm watching Matrix Reloaded, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. So watch it if you haven't watched it. All right, you guys, I'm just browning the meat. Uh, the recipe calls for Italian sausage, but I prefer to use the Jimmy Dean sage sausage. I just feel like the meat is um, more tender and it has more flavor. And this is the same pot that I boiled my noodles in. So you only have to use one pot for this. You don't need to use multiple pots. So I'm gonna brown the meat. I'm gonna add a few shakes of red pepper flakes and some Italian seasoning. And then we're gonna add in our onions and garlic. Here's how it turned out y'all it's really really good of course i doctored it up a little bit so i'll put my actual recipe down below but yeah dinner is done got some texas toast over here wow you do <laughs> I'm about to read my Bible and get in the bed. Y'all, remember I told y'all about this devotional? I went ahead and started over from the beginning because I started it and stopped, started it and stopped. And I feel like I wasn't really reading to understand. I was just reading to get through it. So I started back from the beginning um, with week one and I'm just starting over, rereading the chapters and trying to make sure that I'm really absorbing what the word is saying. But I really do, once again, recommend this. Highly recommend. I will add this to my Amazon storefront. And by the way, thank y'all so much. I never, well, like I told y'all at the beginning of this video, I filmed a whole nother vlog and I actually filmed a March plan and budget with me that I never posted. And in those videos, I was telling you guys that uh, my Amazon storefront that I had linked in my what's in my work bag video, y'all were actually buying stuff on there. So I really appreciate all you guys that use my Amazon storefront link because I think so far I'm at like $20 that I've made from it. So that's amazing to me because that's just passive income from y'all clicking on the link and buying products that I have recommended recommended or buying products just using my link. So I appreciate all of you guys. So definitely check out my Amazon storefront. Like I said, I will add this book 
to my storefront um, as well as some other products in the coming weeks. So definitely check that out. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and read my Bible, do my journaling in my new journal and get in the bed. And I have my bonnet over here too because as soon as I get finished, honey, I'm putting her on, turning off the light and getting in the bed. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. As always, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you like the video. Like, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one.